Welcome to another episode of Faith Explorations, the podcast where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. I'm your host, Kenneth Garcia. In episode 108, we delve into a reflective journey into a question that often lingers in our hearts, how does God see us? And more importantly, how can we see ourselves as He does? But our exploration doesn't end here. For more insights that can enrich your journey of faith, be sure to visit us at BibleKeeper.com. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Do you ever feel alone, like no one sees or understands you? Today, let's find comfort in the assurance that God does. He is always with us every step of the way, even when we don't think about Him. God sees and hears everything, from our deepest secrets to our smallest victories. No matter what life throws your way, God is there to lend a helping hand and give you the comfort and reassurance you need. He is the ultimate witness, never judging or condemning us. God sees you in your happiest moments and your darkest hours. In several Bible verses, God is known by many different names and titles. The most common name for God in the Hebrew Scriptures is Yahweh, which is believed to be derived from the verb to be or to become. Yahweh is sometimes translated as Lord but it carries deep significance in understanding God's character, power, and authority. The Bible also mentions various other names for God, including Elohim, El Shaddai, and El Roy. These names paint a vivid picture of the multifaceted nature of our Creator. The Bible teaches us that God's eyes are always upon us, knowing our thoughts and motives. He is never surprised or disappointed by anything we do because He sees us in our entirety, including our weaknesses and failures. This knowledge can be daunting, but it is also a tremendous source of comfort. God's eyes are never blind to the needs of His children. He knows what we need before we even ask. In times of difficulty, God is keeping watch over our struggle and offers us comfort, hope, and strength to carry on. When God looks at you, He sees more than your physical attributes and actions. He sees your heart, your potential, and your unique purpose. God knows what is best for us and wants to help us reach our full potential. God also looks at your actions, relationships, and how you interact with others. It's not just about words, but about living out His teachings. How we treat others reflects our love for God. God sees you uniquely and especially He loves you unconditionally and deeply desires to have a relationship with you. His love for each of us is so great that He sent Jesus Christ, His only Son, to die on the cross for our sins so that we could live eternally with Him in heaven. How can we align our view of ourselves with God's? The Bible is a great source of insight into how God perceives us. No matter what others think, we are forever loved by God and nothing can change that. First, knowing that God sees us gives us hope for the future. Trusting in Him and putting our faith in His plan can give us hope that better days are ahead. Second, knowing that God sees us helps us stay accountable for our actions. Even if no one else knows what we do in private, God always sees us and is aware of our actions. Finally, knowing that God sees us assures us of His love and care for us. His presence is always with us and we are never alone. As we wrap up this episode, let's remember that God does indeed see us as His holy nation. He knows our every thought, word, and deed. Nothing escapes His watchful eye. In embracing His love and grace, we can find hope, joy, and peace. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Faith Explorations. Remember you are seen and loved by a God whose vision goes beyond our understanding. If you enjoyed today's discussion and want to explore more topics related to spirituality, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Visit us at BibleKeeper.com for more resources that will enrich your faith journey. Join us next time as we continue to explore matters of faith and spirituality. Until then, may God bless you abundantly.